Well, thousands of healthcare workers across California are taking part in a statewide training exercise today in learning how to fight the spread of the Ebola virus. KTLA's Christina Pascucci is live where doctors, nurses, and other workers are working hard right now. Christina. Glenn, good afternoon. The event just wrapped up. There were hundreds of healthcare workers from all over Southern California and then thousands more who watched this stream live from the web, actually from all over the entire country. Let's take you inside right now and show you what it looked like from within the event. This was significant because the latest, most current CDC protocols were demonstrated for the first time for people who are really at the front line when a potential Ebola case comes to light. A highlight today was a live demonstration on stage with nurses donning and doffing personal protective equipment. What some here say likely happened in Dallas, for example, when those two nurses contracted Ebola, is that perhaps they weren't meticulous enough when they put their gear on or discarded it. One nurse told me he even washes his gloves and the exterior of his protective equipment throughout the entire process of treating a potentially highly contagious patient. I think that uh, if you know the facts and you understand that there's been four cases in the United States, uh, of course there's going to be fear, you know. Um, but as a nurse, I was more fearful of H1N1, you know, which we had more prevalent throughout our communities. I spoke to nurses, doctors, a representative from the CDC, and the resounding answer when I asked what their major tips are, number one, wash your hands, and number two, get the flu shot. Uh, also, they told me healthcare professionals say they are optimistic that we are as well prepared as we ever have been for a potential, uh, potential Ebola outbreak, especially in the light of the fact that Dallas has now been cleared of the disease. Reporting from near LAX, Christina Pascucci, KTLA 5 News. Christina, thank